everybody. Hi. Hi. It's me again. Um, I have a few questions. So, before you are allowed to drive, what do you have to do? Get a license. You have to get a license. Before working in a company, what do these employees have to do? They have to pass the interview. Before being allowed to teach, what do these educators have to do? They have to get a degree, they have to do internships, and they have to acquire skills and knowledge to teach. Now, what do all of these people have in common? They need to get license. Why do they need to get license? <laughs> okay, to ensure that they are qualified to perform the task, is that right? So, uh, the license is a sign that when they do the job, the job will come out great. Okay, or no problem with it, at least. It, they wouldn't pass harm to society and the environment. So, my next question is, what about this particular job right here? Parenting. parenting. Some say that parenting is the hardest job in the world. When you become a parent, you basically sign up for the immense responsibility of being your child's role model. Who your children become someday, um, their physical and their psychological state, it depends on the way you raise them. Not to mention, you have to have a lot of money. You have to feed them, you have to send them to school, you have to buy them clothes, you have to give them allowance, and etc. It's an extremely draining, time-consuming, non-paying job 24-7. That's even harder than being a teacher, who, by the way, is required to have a degree, right? So we encounter cases where some parents are simply not qualified. Number one is parents who don't actually have enough money to raise their children or give them the basic needs like education. In Indonesia, as of 2016, around 2.5 million children had to stop going to school and 78% of them were because they simply could not afford to go to school anymore, according to UNICEF. <laughs> And we usually see that um, in families who are actually in the lower income category but they insist on having three or four kids or even more even though they, they are fully aware that school is expensive. Number two is parents who don't want to accept their children for who they are. We see these cases in the LGBT children who are being kicked out of their own house by their own parents. And the same thing also happens to the disabled children. And then, stepping up, there is the, oh, this classic rape case. We see that everywhere on the news, right? And then, there are, there is abuse. We also see this everywhere on the news. In fact, 88% of perpetrators were parents of the, those reported physical abuse cases. So, um, we know that these cases happen, and we also know that there are more people out there who are likely to do immoral things to their children, or insist on having kids even though they know they couldn't afford it. So we are thinking out, oh, about well, what we have to do. And, let me tell you the harsh truth. We can't, for the sick parents, we can't locate and arrest them all. And for the parents with money issues, we can only help them to a certain extent. That's what's been going on with IJP and BPJS. Is that right? <coughs> um, what the government can try to do now is treating the parents to be exactly like how it is for teachers and employees. There should be qualifications, trainings, tests, qualification check, and certificates. 
For example, qualifications for income. Um, before having children, a couple have to register their yearly income and the government could set a limit on how much income is required for one kid, for example. And more if they have more kids. And if the couple don't have that much, then they don't pass the requirements. The parents also have to be psychologically healthy so that if it is recorded that they have some kind of mental illness that could affect the children in some way, then they don't check the box. And after that, the couples also have to attend trainings and about parenting. If it is if, and also, it is better if the authorities do regular check-ups on the families. So, if any of the family breaks the rules, the children uh, should be taken away and put up for adoption for someone who is licensed. And uh, they should be put up for someone who is licensed, and, where, and then the parents' license should be taken away so they are hesitant to break the rules. And I know that this things that I just described is probably too much for our governors because we know that authorities don't do much anyway and it, it's ridiculous because the authorities wouldn't go this far probably but this is it, this is what our country has to do in order to achieve actual results to create a better generation we have to tackle the problem from the root which is the parents after all our country's future is in those children's hands. Thank you.